Hello everyone, welcome back. So you decided to click this video. I keep a little list of video ideas I want to, to make and write about. And one of the video ideas I wanted to talk about was negativity and drama sells. So there's more drama in whatnot. There's more drama in the comic book community overall and in general. And guess what? You clicked on this video. You made the conscious decision to watch this video about that. I recently put a poll up a few weeks ago asking, I want to do more comic book based content. Would you guys be interested in watching that? Well, lo and behold, a huge vote was cast. A lot of people said yes. I put the vote up, yes, no, or just quit now. A lot of people said just quit now, which I, which I appreciated and was funny. But I made those videos. I made a video about the books I have been reading, the books I've been reading literally for the past several weeks, reviewing them, detailing them, showing internal art. Guess what? Nobody watched. That's perfectly fine. That was their decision. That's your decision to watch those videos. But you clicked on this one. So I want to make a statement just about drama and negativity overall and why we're drawn to it. You're choosing to watch this video right now instead of reading your comic book. So that mindset of I want to watch comic book related content and that I want to watch videos about you reviewing comics and talking comics, let's just be honest with yourself. No, you don't. If you're choosing to watch a video, you're choosing to, to do something else other than reading, you want to be entertained. You want something new and engaging. I have a lot of people in the comments, especially on my more controversial videos, say, um, you, you, know, you chose to make those videos. You knew what you were doing. I didn't choose to subscribe to you because of your political views or your, your views on the drama and whatnot or whatever. It, it's... I understand what you're saying that, but at the same time, these are the view, these are the videos that get that get clicks. How many videos go on the wayside of Comic Hall number 89, uh, unboxing number 722? Well, who who's watching those videos? I, I could be unboxing ASM or Amazing Fantasy 15 right now, and I guarantee you. A video about drama, about whatnot, or Nerdy Girl Comics, or uh, the Peach Momoko fiasco, or whatever the case may be, would get more views than me opening Amazing Fantasy 15. Why is that? So the drama that happened again was this Amazing Spider-Man cover with Eminem on the cover. Promoted, sold out, promoted by Eminem himself, sold out, crazy money. People are spending crazy money on this. I saw a book, a 9.8, CGC graded 9.8 on Instagram on Elite Comics 11, probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest seller on Instagram there is of comic books. And this is the asking price. And the comments on underneath this book are absolutely hilarious. FOMO. This is flash in the pan. This is, why is this book worth so much? Why is this what it is? It's drama. It's literally selling you drama. It's selling you the fear of missing out. It's selling you, oh my God, I got to get this book. This is tied with Eminem. Oh my God, everybody's buying this book. Why should I buy this book? Oh, because everybody else is buying it. Oh, why should I buy this book? Oh, it's because it's sold out. That's drama. Then we've got this Pixie Runner number one with Homer Simpson and Voltron. Two things that have nothing to do with each other. Then you have all of this backlash among whatnot influencers or whatnot sellers apparently getting into it. The drama of them like selling, telling each other they're going to fight each other. I don't know. I'm basically reporting to you Keep It Thorough Comics' latest deep dive into the drama. Speaking of, Keep It Thorough Comics is the best comic book YouTuber period. He's my favorite one. He nails it. He shoots it to you straight. I love watching his videos. He's, it, it's, it's absolutely correct. You chose to click on this video. You choose to click on the video with the downturn uh, graph showing decline. 
you, you go, I can name however many comic book channels about comic book investing and see all the negative downturns. You click on that, oh, it's fear. Oh, it's fear of missing out. Oh, it's fear of, oh my God, my collection. It's That's what's driving this. That's what's That's what drives the clicks. I wanna make videos about talking about comic books. I wanna make videos about my favorite stories. But guess what? Nobody cares. Nobody clicks those videos. And if, if we're being true and we're being, no BS. Why I'm making these videos? I make videos that actually have people watch them. I want to make videos that have actual relevancy and are interesting and engaging. I don't want to make a video that nobody wants to watch, nobody is interested in, shows shows no good reception whatsoever. I want to make videos that get clicks, are interesting. That's why I do it. And I think I am that kind of person that I can shoot I can shoot things to you straight. That's kind of like the MO of the channel is I'm presenting things in a no BS way. I'm talking about the comic book community overall. I'm talking about what I see. I'm talking about I'm seeing through the lies. I'm not selling you anything. If anything, I'm trying to sell you me. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make you click on my video. I'm trying to to sell you my video, why you should care, why it's interesting. I want to entertain you. I want you to enjoy my content. That's what I'm doing. So I'm not, there's no hidden agenda. There's no, I'm trying to sell you something, move this book, flip this book, uh, you know, get, get you over here so I can sell you something else, trying to, to move stuff that I can't sell anywhere else. I'm not doing that. I'm literally selling you me and I'm selling you the real me. There's no BS. So this is literally just me talking out loud, me seeing, reacting to my own videos, my success or unsuccessful videos, my thoughts of us as comic book content consumers and what I think that what we actually want as a consumer is just my thoughts, just my thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. If at any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.